guys, welcome to a vlog. It's Tuesday afternoon. I just got off a flight from Amsterdam this morning. So I'm just sorting these out home. I'm actually just wrapping my Christmas presents before I go home on Thursday for Crimby. Just making a cup of tea as you can see, and I bought a mince pie today from Pret, which have been recommended in the comments, so I thought we could eat that. And we're in full Christmas mode in the sense that all I'm doing is eating at the moment. It just seems to be insatiable. So this mince pie was a very affordable one pound full size, opposed to the previous twelve pound for six at Portland Mason. Um, it comes in a nice little paper thingy and it's very generously dusted with icing sugar, what I like to see. Also very nice and deep. Oh yeah, okay, apparently these are good, let's see. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, that is a nice filling. Ooh. Oh, that's good. Oh, that's really good. Oh god, yeah. I thought they made some ones have thicker pastry. Especially on the base. So they felt stodgier, but I don't mean it in a negative way. It's just sweeter. Definitely can taste the icing sugar on the top. And the Fortnum Mason filling was almost like a paste, also adding to the stodginess, whereas this is very raisiny. Is there even raisins in a mince pie? Cranberries? Something. Mmm. I like this. I recommend these. So, yeah. Today's Tuesday. I'm going back up north on Thursday morning. So my mother, she'll be with us all soon, which will end up even more mince pies. I know she will have definitely stocked up. Uh, mm. There'll be loads more to eat when we get there. And yeah, I'm pretty much going to finish work for Christmas. On Thursday, hopefully. I'm shooting tomorrow, which will tie up most of what I need to do. But I really feel like I'm on the Christmas wind down, which is good. Like I said, I'm just wrapping presents. I've got two more to wrap. And I'm currently sat inside waiting for a parcel. I bought some stuff yesterday in cost from Amsterdam, which I'm going to show you because I've got an amazing coat. And I bought some really like thick socks, which are well, you know those, do you ever buy something weird and comfy to wear at home and get really excited about it? I um, left the bloody security tag on, so I need to at some point today or tomorrow get myself over to Westfield to get them to take the security tag off so I can wear them. I think that's going to be a job for tomorrow rather than an evening job this close to Christmas. Mm, mm, mm. So it is now Wednesday at 11.30. I've just been out for a meeting this morning. And I'm back in, I'm just working at home today. Um, I'm gonna film a haul video and get that up for you guys and things like that before going out a bit later on. Um, and I'm just currently sat on the floor on my poof. Um, thank you so much guys for all the feedback on the vlog last week about the positioning of everything in my flat. Um, obviously this is a work in progress and I am feeling quite overwhelmed by the space in terms of feeling like I've got so many options. I almost don't know how to go about positioning it best to make it feel cozy and homely and everything. I've got a couple of lamps I'm still waiting on arriving from the Conrad shop and I think when they've arrived, I, aside from maybe having some more um, artwork further up here like we talked about on the wall behind me, um, I feel like it's almost all coming together but it's still a bit of a work in progress. Um, and another thing that I want to talk about, another new home item is the TV behind me. So this segment of this, of this vlog has been sponsored by Samsung, who have very, very, very kindly given me this incredible TV, which is a frame TV. And I wanted to talk to you guys about it, and I'm really excited about it because this television is not like your normal bog standard television, guys. Of course, it does all the normal television -y things TV does, i.e plays Netflix, lets you watch Narcos back to back, as I have been doing, as you all well know. But also, it has this art mode, which I've currently got on behind me, where it makes your television look like a work of art. One thing I want to say to you guys is that this looks even more incredible, mounted on a wall. You know that I live in rented accommodation, and I imagine lots of you watching will do as well, where maybe, like me, you're not allowed to mount a television on the wall. That's something that can be contract sometimes. 
So I've got mine on my TV stand. It looks absolutely insane on here. Like I never knew a TV could be as part of a room as much as this, but I just wanted to make it clear that when they're on the wall, they literally look like pieces of art, which is incredible. Um, so my, always my inspiration for interiors is often quite Parisian inspired, inspired homes. That's like what I see the most on Pinterest and things like that. Um, and often you find that rooms like that aren't built around a television. So there'll be no television in the room, or if there is, the whole furniture isn't positioned around it. Now, I love that idea, all well and good, but when you are nursing a narcos addiction like I am, it is not a realistic life choice, you need your television. Which is why this is so exciting, because this TV with the art mode completely makes your TV part of the room in a really different way, as opposed to this just being this big black box that absorbs so much light, that's so heavy, for the most of the hours of the day when you're not watching television and it's just there static in the room. So this has now become part of the room in a different way, and I've currently got on to, um, pictures which are available on the, um, there's an art store and a Samsung collection which is on the television, so you can flip that, I'll show you guys. These ones I like because I think they look like film photography, but there's loads of different sections, digital art, we were just on still like their drawing. So there's this drawing one that I really like. Then we also have action, wildlife, basically loads of options, which are all really amazing. But the thing that I'm loving the most about it is that you can put your own artwork on there as well. You guys have left me so many comments in the past about how you um, how you all were wanting me to, or was suggesting that I find ways to display my own film photography. I have a few out in the hallway, but I kind of always really struggle with how best to do it. How, you know, deciding on one, of all of the photos I've taken to blow up and make massive and have printed and framed felt like a big decision. So this is so good for me because you can upload your own photos onto here. So you can do it using an app, which I have as well, um, which is called the Still Life app. And you basically, you could do any photo, like you could literally do a funny one of you and your mates on a night out, whatever you fancy doing. So you upload them using the app, which is just here. I've already uploaded a few because I've been messing around with this over the past few weeks. And then in your collection, and, and look I've got some of Paris on here, I have some of the carp, some plants, this is my favourite one, one second let me go and sit on the sofa with you guys so we can see this a bit better, how good does that look? Oh. Okay guys, right, so this is a picture of a car that was on um, a road called Kensington Church Street which I took and then I just went for the burgundy frame which you just saw because I felt like it matched the colour Actually, it matches the, the font of the Buffy book really, really well. And then the other one I like, I put on this one of Paris, but this is the other one that I like of these leaves, which I also took around Notting Hill with just the white frame. So you can pick your frame um, colours, the width of it, everything in the app as well. So there's so many different options to this. The, I feel like I'm into closer up pictures more than far away ones. I did initially have, here we go, this one of Tropea. Um, which I really liked. No, oh, actually, did you realise? I think it looks really, really cool. And can you see like the shadowiness around the edge of the picture? That's an option that you can um, have as well when you're doing it. So basically, I'm going to zoom you out a little bit. The poof is just under the television. That was quite a, like a little cosy setup. You can have whatever art you like. I'm going to stick with the one that I took of the car, which I put in black and white. You can see how I've been playing around with those different options here. Um, and it just makes the TV look like a work of art, basically, and works with the room in a completely different way and transforms the room. Let me move the poof so you can see it. You can also see it. Um, I just really, really, really like how I'm still can use the TV functionally. And like I said, from a lifestyle point of view, I'm always going to need a TV. I do really enjoy watching TV, but as part of the room, it's just completely different. And the options you can have with it and everything, ah, uh, looks so good. So massive thank you to Samsung for working with me on this. Um, I'm genuinely so excited about this television and just how much it's gonna change the room and bring different options. And I know you guys have been saying about me finding a way to display my own photography. And I feel like this is just the most perfect way where I can also change it and update it all the time. Um, so yes, I'm very excited about that and I'll keep updating you on how I change it. Right now, I'm going to go make myself a coffee. Um, excuse the very messy bed behind me. I'm just bed changing day before I go home for Christmas so I come back to clean sheets. I just quickly thought I'd show you this outfit. Um, one of my new resolutions is to get a mirror in a better place so you can see things better. But this is the coat that I bought from Koss in Amsterdam. 
I'm obsessed with it. It's like the nicest fit and it's got sort of suede detailing under the collar. Um, really smart. It's kind of got a fit in the fabric of a blazer but longer. And excuse me, I've just got it on with my end of the stories trousers, which is similar to my Chloe ones. Some black socks, my Veya trainers, grey Uniqlo cashmere and my acne scarf. This is me ready to go. I'm just going to take my Sophie Hume back. I've just been making a massive playlist on my blog, which I do share relatively regularly. You guys often ask me for um, music recommendations. I, I do share playlists on my blog and I'm just doing a big, a big Christmas one. There's lots of music playing from lots of different places. You can hear Beyonce, you can hear Miguel. Well, there we go, we're sorted. Um, yeah, so I've just been doing a big one of those for over Christmas. I'm gonna try and do like 20 songs in it. Which doesn't sound like many, but it's kind of hard to think of 20 songs on the spot. So I've just seen that. And now I literally need to set off in this very second to go to a meeting at Soho House. And then these are the socks I told you about with the security tag on. So I've got my receipts ready. So I'm going to try and drop those off on my travels. And that is everything. We shall check in again later. Hope it's not too cold outside. It will be though. That was just far too wishful thinking. Hey guys, just been to the post office and been to Snappy Snap to drop some film off and now I am hot footing it to Odbins to get some Campari because Hayden and some of his friends are coming around. Hayden is, I don't know if Hayden's ever been on the vlogs. Hayden's in my like core mates group. He is Catherine Homerod partner, her boyfriend, and they have the beautiful little baby together. He, if you follow me on my Instagram and watch my stories, you'll see their gorgeous baby boy on there. Um, so yes, they're coming around and they want to drink Campari, and so Campari they shall drink. So I'm going to Odd Bins to get that, and then the flats is hit because I'm shooting today. So I've said to you guys before the mess that happens when you have to shoot some content. So I am going to try and tidy up the flat quick enough to them welcome guests. I also need to pack to go home at some point. I'm really running out of time. Hey guys, it is now Thursday and I am heading home for Christmas, which I'm excited about. Feeling a touch worse for wear today, but hopefully we'll all be okay. Everything's packed up, just emptied the bin. And yeah, I'm gonna get on the train and go home. So soon I shall be back at home with my mother and that will probably be the next clip because like I said I'm a bit fragile so I need to just focus on sitting very still on public transport and not having any any accidents or anything like that and um, but yeah I'm gonna miss my flat so 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 much which is a nice feeling as well um, and yes I think that's pretty much everything I need to tell you I'm gonna show you some of the what am I gonna show you Nothing really, actually. I'm not, gonna, I'm not really going to show you anything right now. I'm just going to order my Uber and set off and put my headphones in and try and have a sleep. That's what I'm going to do. Good morning, all. And now back in Leeds. The hangover that started mildly yesterday literally almost killed me at about two o'clock. I thought I'd seen the end of my life on the Leeds train. It was the hangover of the year. So I'm feeling much fresher today and therefore in the vlogging zone. Mum's out at the moment, but as soon as she's back, I'm gonna make her eat a mince pie with me. I'm not sure which ones she's got, but I know that she's got a lot. Um, ooh, so we should be able to test lots and lots and lots of mince pies. This is now just a few days before Christmas. I'm feeling a bit festive now I've gotten home. I'm gonna show you guys Mum's Christmas tree. Um, she always does garden center levels of Christmas tree. In fact, I actually probably think she's Mr. Calling as a Christmas tree decorator, it is quite spectacular. So I'm feeling a, a bit festive now. Oh, really nice. Also, the um, shoes they all um, made, the shoes I made with Sergio Rossi in Italy last week have arrived. I've, I've not unpacked them yet, they're downstairs. So once I've put some slap on and dried my hair, we shall go downstairs and have a look at the, at the shoes and open them and see what my creation is. So we all basically like put the soles on them, we moulded them together as it were and then they did the finishing touches and <clears throat> mine were looking pretty alright, however if I open this and see a perfect pair of shoes I'll know they did a bit more than finishing touches because they were definitely a bit, a bit off perfect but it was so interesting to do and so much fun and they're like, well you're going to see them in a minute but they're like flat slip on loafers so they're right up my street as well. 
Um, right, let me focus, let me focus on the brows. Okay, so Winter Wonderland, one to say. Now beautifully in focus. Got some things on the stairs. I actually haven't looked at the dining room. This normally gets very Winter Wonderlanded as well. It has been Winter Wonderlanded. And then the lounge is the main event. The tree's not, oh, hello. Well, 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 look, the Daphne's on a diet at Christmas, which is most unfortunate, but it serves her right for being overweight. So she has to go on a diet and has to have her biscuits measured and it's putting her in a permanent bad mood, which is understandable at Christmas time, but she must be healthier. This is the tree. It's not lit up at the moment. It is quite even more glorious when it's lit up, but she's gone for a, um, a white oversized theme is how I describe it with some, um, is this a fake hydrangea? It's quite ornate and also quite leaning. But we won't tell her that. I'm going to go and get my presents and put them under the tree. Um, so she, the reason she hasn't got presents under the tree at the moment is because she was worried somebody might break in and steal them. So they're in the room next to here. That makes sense, doesn't it? Let us open up the parcel. as well honestly guys the trip that we did with them was so good so enjoyable um yeah i just thought we were lucky to go on it you are officially <laughs> you're officially now part of the sergio rossi magic kingdom this is your sr1 enjoy the walk the magic kingdom is what they call the factory there so it has the, the sr1 i wonder if that's a style of shoe or if it's because it's my first I mean, they've definitely, they've definitely done some, some tidying up, but these are then just really simple, um, loafers. Oh, wow. This is so cool. I'm going to tell everybody, apart from you guys, I've fully made these, like, that this is exactly what they looked like when I left them there. But they've got the step down back and everything. I might wear these today, actually. I've got, like, a baggy outfit on. I think they look quite cool with that. Oh, I really like the square toe. I reckon they look quite good with socks as well, seeing as it's so bloody cold. Ah! I like the silver thing on them. You can't see what I'm looking at, can you? Just got one with my baggy Levi's, and I'll keep the back stepped up for now. These are super cool. I don't know where the nearest full length mirror is in this house anymore. I'm assuming it is in in mother's bedroom it is there they go in fact i think i need to change my jeans so that they look a bit less slippery also i've just got the laziest outfit on in the history of lazy outfits but with either with these jeans and something tucked in or i think i'll go for a shorter jean with them so i shall go do that go put that on now right guys we're back here mum's not back yet and i simply can't go any longer without a mince pie so i'm gonna have one without her i can have a little later she has a whole pile here. So our options are Tesco Finest, Waitrose, Christmas ones, and Waitrose, I don't know what the difference, these two different Waitrose ones. One's Waitrose and Partners, more people have been involved there. And Booths, oh no, that's shortbread assortment, it's in this pile. 
We've got Tesco's or Waitrose. The Tesco's are open. I'm gonna have one of them. And they also, oh my gosh, we've had, we've had a breakage on this one. I'll leave that for someone else. <laughs> um, and what I don't like about them, the test, sorry, what I don't like about the Waitrose ones is they both have the nutritional values on the front and I can see lots of red sections. Whereas the Tesco ones have kindly not put it right on the front of the packaging. So you're a bit less reminded that per mince pie is 23% of your daily saturates allowance and 20% of your sugar. Doesn't really leave you much wriggle room, does it? Let's see about this. Mmm, yeah, nice. Mmm. Oh, that is nice. Oh, yeah. I like those. It is the next morning and I've just spied these. Where'd you get these from? Local cafe. Ooh. Sure. I reviewed the Tesco finest one last night, yesterday afternoon. It's quite nice. They are quite good for Tesco. Come on, make one. Don't show me. Oh, uh, <laughs> don't know, make one. We're just going to a spa. I got everything. Phone, that's what I knew I didn't have. You're off for a spa day, aren't we? Yeah. Okay. We're back from the spa. It was very lovely. Mm. And we're ready to eat a mince pie. Oh. I'll just pop this in because this has been the location of choice. These ones are from the local cafe in where I live. I'm going to tell him which you live. So they're not a branded one as such. They're homemade and they have an almost crumble like lid. It's a streusel. It's a streusel. It's a streusel topping, viewers. I'm struggling to wait. Well, you just need to get a big cup of tea because we did. It looks like a nice. Deep filled mince pie. This is made by Ange. Made by Ange. Yeah. Someone sent me a card. Oh, I made that. One upstairs, that's right. You see, ignoring it. I opened that. How is it? How is that from? Um, Paul Manuel. Oh, right. It's the exhibition of uh, mm. Right, so I'll give you a cup of tea. Let's have a cup of tea. Oh, it's from the. From the reward style team. Oh, that's very nice. It is. Okay, right, pass me mine. Right. Here we go. Is this, which one have you shared? I think I can't remember. Mm -hmm. Mix so, or probably a bigger one. Right, go. Mmm, -hmm. crumbly. Mmm, <laughs> that's good. Mmm, that's really good. Oh. Mmm. Mmm, no. What? Mmm. Mm. Mm. There's something off about the texture of the filling. Mm. I think I can almost taste the crunch of the sugar in the filling. But the flavour's lovely. Mm. That's the crunch in the strudel. Is it? Mm-hmm. Mm. 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 Feels like a finer crunch. <laughs> that is a granulated crunch. Mmm. Mmm. A demerara crunch. Yeah, it just, you can taste it, you can, you can get that, can't you? Mmm, no, I like it. Mmm. I like strudel. Mmm. 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 Top quality pastry. Yeah, oh, pastry is very nice. Mm hmm. And really nice. Excuse me. Talking with my mouth full. It's so loud when you're doing this. <sighs> uh, moist filling. Mm. I'm really happy with the word moist. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. Jesus, wet. Oh, I love cherry tomatoes. Mm, mm, this is the tree I lit up. And you're watching Lara Croft. I've never watched a Tomb Raider. Oh wow! Ever? Yeah. Really exciting for you. Well, it's been on a bit. But... Angelina Jolie, one or the newer one? Angelina. Ah, there she is. Yes, Selena. Looking fierce as always. Yes. Um, right, I'm just signing the vlog off for Christmas now. Oh. To wish everyone a Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, everybody. I hope you all have a lovely time. Mm. Mm. And she's now less worried about the burglars and all the presents under the tree. Oh, that's <laughs>